Barrett Deans driving his big band from Chicago through that uh, great flag waver, Airmail Special. Barrett dreams a drummer, a dream of a drummer, with a spirit of eternal youth. He's over 80 years of age, and you can often find him with his troops at Chicago's Elbow Room on a Tuesday night. I found him in Chicago on a cold night. He's going to warm us up. Welcome into Minnesota Public Radio, Barrett Deems. Oh, thank you. That's a pretty good band. Fantastic band. <laughs> You're still meeting on Tuesday nights? Yeah, sure. Good thing we got guys like you or we would be out in the cold. Oh, we I got to have you guys. You don't need us. We need you. Well, we need you. You're you're quite a spirit, Barrett, and I I know that you've done your tour with Louis Armstrong. That's legend. Yeah. I want to ask you a little bit about um, uh, those tours with Armstrong, and sure. it, particularly working for this, uh, working for the ambassador, as I like to call him. What kind of a man did you discover Louis to be? He was a great man. He uh, he was kind to everybody. After each performance all over the world, he was uh, <coughs> excuse me, he would uh, go out in the hall and set up a desk and. Uh, Sign autographs for everybody. If there were 2,000 people, he would do it. He never turned anybody down. My goodness, that was an active wrist, wasn't it? Yep. And what was your um, what was your reward in playing behind him? What did well, you like about it? I liked everything working with him. If I have any kind of a name today, I got it through him. And I was a lucky boy. We were all lucky to work with Louis. Well, in the year 1995, and here we are, January 6th, 1996, Barrett Deems, you've become uh, the Arts Midwest Jazz Masters winner, along with Irv Williams and another colleague from Chicago, and we send you congratulations. Oh, well, thank you. You're going to be here next, yeah. next weekend and playing with Irv Williams, aren't you? Yes, he's a great guy and a great musician. He's a fine tenor man. I worked two shows with him here last or last summer in September and uh, July. May and I? We may, had a ball. Uh, well, I'm sure you're going to have a ball again, and so will we. <laughs> Good. Barrett Deems, uh, you grew up in the time when uh, legendary pioneer drummers uh, were on the scene. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll mention several names, and if you just give me a quick, spontaneous uh, uh, comment... First, um, Big Sid Catlett. Oh, he's a great drummer. Great drummer. Louie loved him. We all did. Every drummer liked uh, Catlett. What did you like about his technique and style? Well, he was about six foot six and weighed about 350 pounds, and he, and he sounded like a train when he played. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, a full diesel or steam train? A diesel. A diesel, huh? But a nice man, and uh, played his butt off. How about Cozy Cole? Yeah, one of my best friends. I took his place on Louis's band. He what did you like about uh, his uh, approach to percussion? Well, he knew everything, and not only that, he was a great musician. He played vibraphones, piano, he played everything. He was just an all-around good musician. And then there's Gene Krupa. Oh, yeah, it's my buddy. I buried him here in Chicago. My wife was uh, born out in Calumet City, so he's buried at Holy Cross Cemetery in Calumet City. I was just out to the grave two weeks ago. A friend of mine and I went out. A drummer used to be with my band, Ron Barron, and uh, we go to cemetery two or three times a year, especially in the summertime. To pay tribute to Gene. Yes. Yeah. And uh, what did you like and, and uh, see in Gene's approach to drums? Oh, I liked everything about him. And he was such a beautiful human being, and he thought he was nothing. He just said he was lucky what he got, and he thought everybody else was great. He was quite a showman, too, wasn't yes, he? Yes, he was. He sure was. And Louie was that way. He thought he was nothing, too. He thought everybody else was great. So they were unassuming people. Very yeah. humble. Yes. And it sounds... You know, they say you're the fastest drummer in the West. Not bad for an old... Uh, what do you call it? An old uh, amidextrous. <laughs> oh, well, you, you have a left and right brain going all the time, don't right. you? Right. Well, Barrett Deems, we uh, look to uh, next January 12th, next uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And uh, 
You're going to open up, I believe, on the 12th? Right. And that's Thursday, isn't it? No, Friday, no, no. Saturday, and Sunday. That's right, Friday, yeah. Saturday, and Sunday. And you'll be appearing at the Artist Quarter with Irv yes. Williams. It's a good group, I hear. And once again, congratulations on the Arts Midwest Jazz Masters Award that you received in 1994. Oh, well, thank you very much, and i got to thank them again when I get to Minneapolis. Well, we all look forward to seeing you. I used to have a lot of friends up there, and I hope they come to see me if they're not all dead, but I had a lot of buddies up there. Well, Barrett, I, I'm sure that everyone who is alive, and if the weather is right, they'll be out front. Oh, I hope so. Meet you at the artist quarter all next... All right, and I thank you for even thinking about me. Oh, it's a pleasure, sir. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. 